Hey guys, first of all, I do appreciate the many emails and Facebook messages to send me free MetaZoo products. I do not want them. I think it's actually quite ironic, right, and in very interesting. In this day and era, the number one MetaZoo content creator, me, I mean, in terms of subscribers, we're growing, man. We got 30,000.1 now. We're growing. We are just crushing it on YouTube at this moment in time, thanks to uh, MetaZoo videos. So the number one MetaZoo content creator does not own a single MetaZoo card. That, in my opinion, is so mud having hilarious, right? That it just has to continue. That's why I'm not going to buy no MetaZoo cards. I think it's just absolutely hilarious that I can obtain that title. There's not much of competition for it, let's be honest. But yeah, okay, let's talk about MetaZoo and the uh, sunken fallacy. The sunken fallacy. So when you have invested your channel, when your channel is just dedicated to MetaZoo, it's not going to grow any bigger because the MetaZoo, let's be honest, the MetaZoo audience is less than it was before in the hype. The MetaZoo audience is angrier and they're more difficult to handle now. They're less positive. Many of them are quite negative. I read a comment somewhere about this guy buying boxes from Argo at 120 and then the other comment was like, oh, you, you suck at life if you, you know, if you have to worry about 50 or or $100, right? Um, no, you don't. A 50 or $100 is a lot of money. I don't know what the hell people are talking about. Many, most Americans live paycheck to paycheck. In fact, I'm going to um, just give you some data on, and, and the, the guy commenting probably would definitely love 50 to to $100, right? Who wouldn't love 50 to to $100 during the holidays, right? Uh, Nick and Strength, he was doing a live stream. And the guy, you know, I like him. I just like him. He should do more Pokemon or more magic. He should get out MetaZoo. He would be a much bigger content. I think he is a big content creator in the fitness space. So there's no reason this dude is not cannot be huge elsewhere. But he chose MetaZoo. And that was honestly, you know, a mistake. Because had he done Pokemon the way he does MetaZoo, had he done, um, you know, I mean, I think... Um, he would be much larger than he is right now on his channel. All right. Uh, we are on CNBC uh, 2023, 1031. As of September, 20, 62% of adults say they are living paycheck to paycheck. A new lending club report. The figure is unchanged from last year. The figure is unchanged from last year. Uh, living paycheck to paycheck remains the main financial lifestyle among U.S. consumers. So if you lost your job, right? Oh, here's a report says 60% of Americans. Let me just click on the article and read you some information. As of September 62, as of September, 62% of adults say they're living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, I already read that. Inflation still too high. The Federal Reserve is expected to announce it will leave rates on chains. Households make tough decisions. Many households are seeing their finances stretched thinly by the combination of high prices for goods and services, as well as high interest rates, said Brett House, economics professor at Columbia Business School. Many are having to make tough choices to defer discretionary spending, which is Magic the Gathering, which is Meta Zoo, of course, in order to stay on top of their loan payment and the cost of necessities. He added, the resumption of student loan payments only adds to this stress. Some 74% of Americans say they are stressed out fi about finances, according to a separate CNBC Money Financial Confidence Survey conducted in August. Inflation, rising interest rates, and lack of savings contribute to these feelings. The CNBC survey found that 61% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck, up from 58% in March. Many households have tapped their cash reserve over the past few months. Lending Club and others report nearly half or 49% of adults have less savings or no savings compared to a year ago. Yeah, so this is, uh, I mean, people are angry because they lost money. They thought this would be a good place to put money and this would be a good place place for them to go up in money right and Vestopedia says almost 80 percent of americans say they're living paycheck to paycheck you know even uh and then here's another article americans making more than a hundred thousand dollars are still living paycheck to paycheck 
and they got money to buy this shit. I mean, who the f has money to buy Meta Zoo right now? Like, I, I'm I'm very curious. Like, like you know, like how can this be? Like, if this if this is not a obvious pump and dump, I don't know what is. Like, this is like a economics 101 pump and dump, right? I don't know what Alpha Investments degree is in, but I took economics 101 at NYU. So I'm an expert in this. And I know that when you have two little lines, and when one of them is called supply, one of them is called demand, right? And when there's no demand and very high supply, that means the lines intersect at a very low price point. You know, and then he's still promoting promos. And what he did was he used he used Magic the Gathering, which he's still trying to sell right now, even though Hasbro leadership is awful, right? The CEO just gave himself a $9 million raise and then laid off 1,100 people before Christmas. Like, is this a company you want to support, you social media freak, like Justice Dudes? Is, that, is this the company you're supporting? Right? Okay, cool. It's so funny, right? What they, they say, oh, hey, you know, we support unions and all this stuff. Like, the company making the mother effing card game is the most anti, like, is the biggest, like, corporate ration that you can imagine. It's worth billions. And no one has a problem with how they're managing stuff, right? Even when they were massively laying off everyone before Christmas. It's pretty sickening in my personal opinion, but hey, that's my opinion. So now back to uh, this issue. Um... He used this platform, which is a lot of people thinking that like, he's a great investment or an investor. And he used it and he did something very clever. He basically sold his soul to the devil. And he pumped and dumped MetaZoo onto the player base, even though they probably did, had no interest in it. Without Alpha Investment, MetaZoo would not have got as big and there wouldn't be as many people hurt economically. Yeah, here's an article CNBC three days ago. If you're not making 100K, you're, you're not even like, you know, here's why even Americans making more than 100K live paycheck to paycheck. If it seems like if your paycheck disappears as quickly as it hits your bank account, you're not alone. More than 60% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. More than half of Americans earning $100,000 a year live paycheck to paycheck. So what's going on? What's going on is they all bought I think Meta Zoo and it went down to zero. <laughs> Clearly, that's what happened, right? I mean, my guys, like, um, like we are in a financial crisis. I don't know, like, even though the stock market, S and P five hundred, CDs rates are up, like people simply don't have money right now because they spent it all, and their massive debts, student loan debts, didn't get forgiven. So, check on that for all the Meta Zoo fans who have student loan debts. I just really don't think it is a good time to be buying any collectible item unless it's really dirt cheap and you know and you love it. Metas do if you don't love it, don't buy it because it, there's no way in hell this thing product goes uh, to the moon. Not with the management it currently has, in my opinion. 